This is Abiodun Shoaib, the CEO of Smart Stitches. I want to show you how to cut a um, trouser with rope. And this is the measurement needed for it, for the trouser I'm about to cut. I'm not within measured waist because since it's rope, that's why we didn't measure the waist. But we are starting from the hips. The hips is 52. And you are to divide your 52 by 4. You get 13. Then the tie, also known as lap, is 31. We equally divide that by 2 inch and it gives us 15. So this is the length. The length is 40 inch inches. So we are adding 5 inch. We're adding 5 inches. So and it will give us 45. Give us 45. This is um, waist to the nail. The waist to the nail is 22. Then this is ankle. The ankle is 16. We we'll divide it by 2 and give us 8. This is a crotch. I make the crotch 15.5. I normally make use of 14, but I'm making use of 15.5 due to the person's height and um, uh -huh, the person's body. So this is the new circumference. The new circumference for this measurement for this person is 25. And I divide by 2, I get 12.5. Now, I will show you how I'll transfer the measurement now on the, the, the paper cut. Thank you. Watch. So, like I said, it's already been marked. It's already been marked, but I'm going to analyze it for you, how I arrive this uh, measurement and my marking scheme here so this is from the edge here i take my measurement this is 40 you can see it this is 40 but i'm starting from the length this is 40 and i like i said i add five inch and it gives me 45 then i'll now come up here to minus uh 2.5 for the folding and the reason why i added five inch is because i'm going to fold from the up and i'll also fold from the band the from the ankle 2.5 from down and 2.5 from the up so now remember i say i don't measure waist for rope trouser i only measure the hips so the hips that i have is 52 i divide it by by four and it gives me 13 13 then i will have to come up then i mark i mark my 13 down i mark it down then like i said remember i said my crotch is 15.5 here is the 15.5 that is the crotch line then here is my nail line you can see 25 here but if I take it from that to, if I minus the 2.5 that, that I will fold, that I will fold, you can see it's 22. Then I get my 22. And bringing it down, you can see 40 here. And this 2.5 remaining here will be for the folding. Then I also come down. I take out 2.5 where I will fold and I mark out my ankle. But before then, I have to take off 1.5 from the side from this side i'll take minus 1.5 and i mark through you can see i give it shape down to the above new i give it shape then i'll now divide the ankle remember i say the ankle for this measurement is 16 i divide it by two i have my eight here I just bring my hand, I extend my hand a little bit so that it won't disturb my folding when sewing. Then I equally come to the nail line, the nail length that is from the waist to the nail. Then I measure my knee circumference. I told you it is 25. I mean, sorry, I said, um, yeah, 25. I divide by, by two. I divide it by two and I have my 12.5. Then 
then I come to the crotch line where I'll measure my lap like I said the lap is 31 I divide by 2 and I have 15.5 then this is how I also make my crotch from the top I'll measure from the top I'll measure 12 inch remember it's rope trouser we're sewing we're cutting I measure 12 inch in cutting zip trouser this is how not how we make the crotch the crotch will not be as long as this but when in the next video I will put I will show you how to make that one then I'll now bring in my French cup to mark this way to mark to ex mark it this way to curve the crotch yes to the point of that uh, 12 inch you can see then I'll bring it up and roll it all through remember this will be for folding and um, this is my lap this is the lap the knee circumference and the ankle circumference now you can see I've cut it out now now I'm about to transfer this uh, front block trouser into the fabric then I'll cut so I place it on the fabric and I cut it out you can see this is the front trouser is into two so I will now cut the back I'll transfer this one now uh, into this other fabric to cut the, the back so I've transferred the front part on the fabric in order to cut the back but now I want to quickly show you this remember it's rope trouser we're cutting trouser with rope that we're cutting so look at here this is the front side and this is the side the side this is the front part now at the front part i increase three inch different three inch different here then at the top i also add 2.5 behind i add 2.5 and i slant it this way make it equal with the edge by the side then i bring it this is the back side as you can see the measurement is 3.5 different for seam allowance remember when cutting the front we didn't add any seam allowance so we are now bringing the seam allowance at the at the back to add at the back then from the last line or the also known as the tie i add 3.5 here you can make it three inches not bad but i'm adding 3.5 uh, due to the size of this person so that you have enough allowance uh -huh. so you can equally make use of three inch well, I'm making use of 3.5 then at the nail line I add 2.5 then at the ankle I add 2 inch I add 2 inch then I will cut off here now you can see the marking I'll cut off here then I also come to this edge to cut and that is all for the trouser with row. I've cut it now. You can see it's very simple. But feel free to ask any question on the comment uh, section. So you can see this is the front part. Uh, this is the this is the back. It's very simple.